everyone, I welcome you all to Undergrad Academy. So today we will be discussing about image formats. But before that, I request you all to please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. It will just take a few seconds and also press the bell icon. Okay, I hope that you have subscribed my channel. So without wasting further, let's get started. So all you beautiful people would have smart devices like computers, laptops and mobile phones and you all might be fond of taking pictures and photos. But the twist is, all these images and photos you capture have certain formats like RAW, GIF, TIFF, JPEG, PMP, etc. So when we talk about images, it is further divided into two types that are vector images and raster images. So let's discuss the type of raster images which are categorized as JPEG, GIF, PNG, TIFF. So let's discuss them one by one. First of all, we have JPEG, which is abbreviated as Joint Photography Experts Pro. The name is quite weird, isn't it? So JPEG images are a very commonly used format and it is used by everyone because it offers good quality, lossless compression and a very low sized image. So if you are looking for small sized, simple and easy images, you should go for JPEG format. Secondly, we have GIF which stands for Graphics Interchange Format. It is a bitmap image format where you have good transparency with animation. It has low quality and a little large size. It is good for animations, but it, is, it just offers a maximum of 256 colors, which isn't enough if you are willing to capture good quality pictures. So on number third, we have PNG, which stands for Portable Network Graphics. If you combine JPEG and GIF together, you will get a very high quality and large size image that is PNG format. So PNG format is good for business professionals who requires good quality images like making business logos and sharply edged images. So on last in roster images, we have TIFF, which is tag image file format. It is for serious experts and for professional photography where the quality is extremely awesome with a very large sized image. It, has, it also has that uh, lossless compression like JPEG images. If you, com uh, like if you compress these images, you won't, uh, the quality won't be lost. So the other type of image is vector images, which is further divided into EPS and RAW. EPS stands for Encapsulated Post Script. It is used by advanced editors in Photoshop and it can be exported to any size. Secondly, we have the RAW format. It is low quality image, but it will become seriously awesome if you edit it. So initially, RAW images have low quality, but after editing, it will have better quality than JPEG. It isn't much used format. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this episode. Please give it a big, big thumbs up. Kindly share the video and subscribe to our channel. Until the next episode, thanks for watching. Goodbye.